Don't you just love seeing and hearing all those motorcycles roar by? On November the 5th, the South Carolina chapter of the American Infidels Veterans Motorcycle Club had their big event of the year, the American Way Lake Murray Dam Ride and 9-11 Remembrance Concert. This is where I ended part one. Can you guess how many motorcycles participated in this ride? Stay tuned to later in this video to count them because this is where we are going to stop and head back to the staging area so you can get a closer look at all the motorcycles and the faces of the riders who participated in the ride to the Lake Murray Dam in Lexington, South Carolina. In the first video, I shared the ride to the event, the setup, the arrival of the club members, the vendors, local bikers and families from the community, and we introduced you to the 9-11 Remembrance Foundation. We headed down to the ride and gave you a glimpse of all the bikers who took part in the ride. In this video, part two, I pick up where the other one left off, and that is taking a closer look at the motorcycles and the riders who will be taking part in the ride across Lake Mary Dam. As we ride across the lake, I will share some information I found out about that dam. Then I take you back for some more fun with the people who joined us for the concert. I will share information about the bands and the gentleman that donated the rifle and the K-Bar. I will share who won the motorcycle that was donated. And finally, we will find out just how much money was raised for the 9-11 Remembrance Foundation of South Carolina. Let's get to it. We head down to the staging area where all the bikes are parked. The riders are meeting with the club's vice president for the safety brief. He goes over the route and specifics of the ride. The key takeaway, ride your own ride. That simply means you're in control of your machine and your ride. Ride at your own comfort level and stay safe. Riding in a group is fun and exciting. Riders should not let this excitement and the actions of others obscure one's own common sense and judgment. I have a few minutes before kick stands up, so I walk around and get pictures of the bikes and the riders. There are all sorts of motorcycles here today. This patch caught my eye. This is Christopher. He is with the Mission M25 of Greenville, South Carolina. I love the group's mission, which is to be the hands and feet of Jesus Christ. He has a great vision for the club here in this area, which includes collaborating and serving. He gave me two pocket crosses. I will carry them as a constant reminder. It is time to load up and the club's VP and president head out, followed by the rest of the American infidels.
It is here we get separated from the first half of the group. And here, those of us in the back one-third are separated from the rest of the group. Apparently, there were issues with getting escorts to cover the entire ride. But we are so thankful for those police officers that were able to help get some of us back together towards the front of the pack and keep the rest of us together back here towards the back. While the group I am with heads towards the Lake Mary Dam, let me give you a little information about the second feature attraction for Lexington. Lake Murray was named after William S. Murray, who was an engineer involved in the design and creation of the dam. Lexington Water Power Company, now known as South Carolina Electric and Gas Dominion Energy, built the dam in order to generate electricity. The lake and dam were under construction from 1927 through 1930. Approximately 100,000 acres of land was purchased for the building of the dam and lake. Land was purchased from more than 5,000 families. The land sold between $15 and $45 an acre. To make room for the lake, nearly a dozen communities had to be abandoned. Six schools, three churches, and about 193 graveyards containing 2,323 graves had to be moved. What is under the lake has been a fascination for many people. The Wise Ferry Bridge, bomber airplanes, pipeline, railroad tank cars, an old rock house, homes, boats, and bomb fragments. To clear the land, the logs, and the trees from the area to be covered by water, an average rate of 50 cents per day was paid to 2,000 men to clear the 65,000 acres by hand using crosscut saws and axes. On December 1, 1930, at 7 a.m., the first electric power with 10,000 kilowatts was delivered at Lake Murray. It was the world's largest power reservoir. The dam is one and a half miles long, 375 feet thick, 208 feet high, and covers 99 acres. I will leave a link to where I got this information down in the notes section below. We continue our ride a few miles behind the lead group. I am thankful some of the ladies get footage of those riding at the front. Next time, I am going to be sure to put a camera on one of the lead motorcycles. They head back over Lake Murray. and 35 of the motorcycles make it back to the staging area at the Ice House Amphitheater. Those of us in the back one-third make it back to Lake Murray. We arrive back at the Ice House Amphitheater a few minutes behind the leading group. Despite getting separated, it was a great ride. Well, this will be just perfect for me. <laughs> when we get back to the amphitheater, we enjoy the concert. There are three bands today all of which are veterans. Before the ride and playing from two to four was Jimmy Loftus. During and following the ride, playing from four to six p.m. is Brooks Herring. And 
finally, playing from 6 to 8 p.m. is Carter Libran. All three of these bands can be found on Facebook, and in some cases, they do have websites. When asked, I tell some about our YouTube channel, and doing this helps us reach our 1,000 subscriber goal. Let me welcome subscribers number 998, 999, and 1,000. Then shortly after that, 1,001. Thanks to all of our subscribers. And let me take this time to ask, if you have not already done so, please hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you are alerted when new content is available. It is now time for the drawings. Two of the top prizes being raffled off include a K-Bar and a rifle, both manufactured and donated by Chucktown Smithing. The owner of this company is a veteran who supports the military and first responders. I will link his company's information down in the notes section below. Ticket number 00621, first name is Rich. This is a K bar that is engraved with an amazing motto on it. Here we go. This is for the AR. So AR goes a good there. Imagine that. This is for the motorcycle. The winner is Iron Horse Lockhorn. Come on down, Iron Horse. Hey, we'll make this real short and sweet. I've been friends for a really long time. He's a great guy, a Marine veteran. Uh, Jared and the 9 11 Remembrance Foundation, we love you guys. We love what you're about. Uh, we'd like to present you with a check for
I realize I have not eaten all day, so I stop at Diablo's Southwestern Grill and pick up a burrito. As low carb as I can get it. It tastes awesome. It has been a great day. Have you guys had fun? Yes. All right. Well, what do we want to tell everybody? Don't forget to like and subscribe. Right. And like the bell. And hit that bell icon so you're alerted when new content is available. All right. Until next time, God bless. Safe riding out there. Back at the Ice House Amphitheater, it is Sunday morning and we woke up to some rain. Came up here to pick up some of the bikes. The group of us that are from the Low Country will be leaving Columbia here, or Lexington rather, and heading back to the Low Country. We have some of them that are going to Somerville and the rest of us going down to Ridgeland and Georgia area. All right, gonna be a great ride. No cameras, not gonna worry about my next footage. I'm just gonna relax, enjoy the ride, put on some praise and worship music, and just enjoy the Sunday morning. Until next time, God bless and safe riding out there.